what we have in the news. My viewers and subscribers welcome to News Replay JM, where we update you with the latest news, sports and entertainment. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comment and don't forget to smash that notification bell so you can be updated so YouTube can recommend us to many more. Thank you. St. James, fisherfolk and business operators have been hit hard by what they described as the most bizarre flooding event they have seen in decades. The Montego Bay coastline being tested by the fury of the Caribbean Sea. But it failed. It's over there now. We know she's over 20 years now. The storm-like surge pushed meters of water inland, inundating the coastal communities. In fact, the flood waters transformed Pier 1 into a floating pier. Significant damage. Um, I can't tell you that we're used to it. We're used to the weather. But this is a little bit worse than what we normally get. Um, I guess from here is just wait until it die down. All hands on deck. The heavy rain started Monday evening as the island experienced bad weather associated with a cold front. However, we were told this is far worse than what residents had anticipated. It's part of life. Nobody hurt. So the damage that we have can be rebuilt. For these fishermen, the future seems more bleak. As they tried to save their vessels and fishing equipment, they could not help but reflect on what they lost at sea. The most damage, they have both engine leak off, they have other boat bust up. They are saying what works. But you know what thing we like this morning? Everyone who against the one another, everyone come together and start dealing with it and start dealing with it and start work, pushing up, pushing my boat and taking care of everything. Minor injuries persons suffered while trying to secure the vessels because this is their livelihood. So persons um, would have lost. Uh, engines, I've heard that two persons reported so far where engine broke off the transom on the boat and crazy damages, fiberglass damage. But most of all, most of the fishermen at this location would have lost fish traps. Now, a roll of wire, fishing wire, can reach you anywhere from eighteen to $30,000. That does not include paying somebody to make a fish trap or buying the actual wire that you need to do to do so. The fishermen are now hoping that they can get some assistance to rebuild their lives. But is this a sign of what's to come as climate change worsens weather events globally? According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC report in 2023, Extreme sea level events are projected to occur at least annually in many areas across the world by 2100. It also indicated that global warming will continue to make rainfall more unpredictable and intense over the next few years.